It started with an email about a woman's death, unexplained, horrifying, and fascinating. A few days later, I invited some friends over to share it with them. As I took them through it, we acted like it was amusing. We didn't want the others to know that we were terrified, intoxicated. A woman possessed? It couldn't be. Her name was Elisa Lamb. A 21-year-old Canadian student who came to Southern California, and she stayed in the Cecil Hotel. I told my friends of how it took 19 days of the hotel guests complaining about a funny taste in the water before the staff sent people to check the water tanks on top of the roof. There, a rescue team found Elisa Lamb floating nude in a water tank 11 feet from the roof of the hotel with no ladders surrounding it. Perhaps the most disturbing piece of this strange puzzle is the security footage taken from an elevator moments before Elise's death. On February 14th, 2013, the Los Angeles Police Department released this video to the general public. Within 10 days, the video had amassed over 3 million views and 40,000 comments online. Many of the online commenters had expressed that they found the security footage to be both unsettling and disturbing. There are moments throughout the security footage where Elisa appears to either be hiding from or looking for somebody. At times, she looks as if she were playing. And there are times when she appears to be nothing more than a puppet, loose, moving from the elevator to the hallway almost as if she were not in control. She digs at the elevator control panel like some sort of a creature. Was she hearing voices? Elisa. Telling her to press those come buttons. Come to me, Elisa. Elisa. Come over here. Over here. Over and why here. is it that the elevator doors never try to close? The toxicology report showed no drugs or alcohol in her system. The medical examiner ruled it a suicide. There were no signs of a struggle. And security cameras tell us that nobody was interacting with Elisa either outside the elevator or on the rooftop. What the medical examiner couldn't explain were the movements Elisa made. They were inhuman, almost demonic. The history of the Cecil Hotel is littered with death. The 30s and the 40s saw a string of suicides by way of jumping through upper level windows. The Cecil Hotel was home to not one, but two serial killers. Richard Ramirez, the night stalker, who stayed on the 14th floor for 14 days paying $14 a night. He murdered 14 women. And Jack Unterweiger, Austrian serial killer, most known for his brutal murders of prostitutes.
Possibly the saddest tale is that of Elizabeth Short. The Cecil Hotel was the last place she was seen alive before she was history as the immortal Black Dahlia. The day that Elisa Lam died, a deadly strain of tuberculosis broke out in China. The kit used to diagnose the strain was called the Lam Elisa test. It was named this 19 days before she was found dead. My friends made their excuses and went home. That night, in bed, waiting for sleep to take me, I felt it. I felt it, and I knew. She wasn't hiding or attacked. She wasn't experiencing an early onset of schizophrenia. And she wasn't possessed. The answer was much simpler. I could see it. I could feel it. She was 